Breaking Down Dawn FM is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. Sign up for Curiosity Stream using the link in the description, and you also get access to my video streaming service, Nebula. By the conclusion of After Hours, the weekend was left paralyzed by the weight of his own emotions. He had failed to free himself of his perpetual cycle of love and loss, only continuing to live up to the duality of his musical moniker. The weekend, and its promise of pleasure, romance, and late night antics, but also the weekend in regards to the emotional toll his destructive lifestyle seems to have on him. But after the darkness must come the dawn. Dawn FM finds Abel fighting to free himself once and for all. Unpacking former regrets, understanding childhood trauma, and being emotionally vulnerable all lead Abel one step closer towards the light. The real question is where he'll end up in the aftermath. Should it be heaven or hell? Let's tune into Abel's latest broadcast and break down Don FM. Bled dry by the sinful behaviors of after hours, Don FM picks up the following morning with the weekend alone again. It's what I do. But this time, it's a choice as we follow Abel into a sort of purgatory, a journey of self discovery taking the form of an hour long radio broadcast. You are now listening to 103.5 Dawn FM. You've been in the dark for way too long. It's time. It's 5 a.m. my time again. I'm calling and you know it's me. It's not uncommon for the weekend to be making calls this early in the morning. He's yearning for a darkly sensual night of sex and drugs just to feel something. I'm pushing myself further, I'm just trying to feel my heartbeat beat. It's this kind of instant gratification that's left him so lonely by the end of every one of his albums. High and quickly dozing off, he's just wishing someone were there to save him in case of an accidental overdose. And if the worst were to happen, he instructs his fling on how to get rid of his body. Just wrap my body in the sheets and pour out the gasoline. Abel's lost faith in an afterlife, but he also sees no hope in living. He's obsessing over nihilistic thoughts, searching for a reason to live. In this game called life, we are loving. After pouring himself a cup of mushroom tea, Abel decides to reminisce over where his relationships frequently go wrong. I'd like to see you try unpacking thoughts through tunnels in your mind. Wanting to break free of his toxic nature, Abel's already thinking on how he would win over a new love's approval and how to make it truly last. How do I make you want me? Make it last? It's not long before someone comes along and sweeps him off his feet. And it sounds like the feeling is mutual. Baby says, take my breath and make it last she says exactly what he wanted to hear in the previous track, that he's wanted and always will be. Abel then deals with his usual dilemma, whether he wants to sacrifice his freedom for this love or retain it for more of his after hour antics. I don't wanna He refuses to fully commit himself to a monogamous relationship, instead outlining boundaries for something more akin to fuck buddies. This is where things typically begin to go south. The weekend throws up a wall just as the fling begins to grow into something more. It's a cycle he's keen to end and turns to legendary producer Quincy Jones for some words of wisdom. And if you weren't raised, you don't know how to raise, you know? I just did the best thing I could. Quincy mentions the long lasting influence his mother's absence had on his life and love relationships. Growing up without a father, it's a wound Abel is attempting to heal from himself. Whenever I got too close to the woman, I would cut her off. Part of that was vindictive and partially based on fear. As an only child, Abel was raised by his mother and grandmother. When his parents separated, Abel's father would start a new family and was seldom seen afterwards. There comes a time in a man's life where he must take responsibility. The reason for his cold-hearted ways has dawned on Abel. His shameful coping mechanisms were rooted in trauma. There's so much trauma in my life. The weekend's abandonment issues lead him to never fully commit to or abandon relationships when they begin getting serious. And when he finally decides on what he wants, he's usually a tad too late. Said I'm too late to make you mine, 
his love interest typically has already moved on, leaving Abel to beg for her to change her mind and tell her that he'll be waiting for her. Baby, I'll treat you right, and I love you like I should have loved you all. It's at about the midway point of this journey when Don FM's radio host encourages Abel to not give up hope. Soon you'll be healed, forgiven, and refreshed, free from all trauma, pain, guilt, and shame. You may... Even with some new insight into his emotional damage, the King of the Fall can't help being pulled towards a new love interest. Again. I told myself that I never fall, but here we go again. He warns this girl of his apprehension to commitment and the internal fear that either of their feelings could change at any moment. Although this love is strong to me, some things can change go wrong with me. We don't know how it's going to be forever. It's too long to me. So Abel attempts to fend off this budding relationship and keep things friendly. He's self-aware of his detrimental cycles and warns this lover of what may happen if the pair advanced any further. Where Abel would much rather keep things on a more surface level to avoid either of them catching feelings, this love isn't so interested in simply being friends with benefits. You don't wanna have sex as friends no more. Friends no more. The truth, baby girl, else been with you. But it's Abel who ends up catching feelings. He's apprehensive in losing this woman's interest, but also grows suspicious that she may be hiding something. Is there someone else or not? Cause I wanna keep you close. Heartbreakingly, Abel believes he doesn't deserve loyalty since he's never returned the sentiment himself. But now when the weekend truly wants to change for the better, his actions keep affecting the future he's trying to shape keeping him a prisoner of his old ways. I don't want to be a prisoner to who I used to be, I swear. Abel has left behind broken hearts and shattered souls in his wake. But in the serenade's starry eyes, Abel proclaims honest intentions towards his dream girl. Let me love you, let me love you like you. The weekend begins facing his fear, choosing to settle down and understanding that entering into any new relationship can be terrifying. Every angel is terrified. Abel has entered the afterlife, a life after the party and fleeting romances for what he believes to be his angel. The exotic, bizarre, and beautiful world of afterlife. And this is your invitation to enter. He's absolutely mesmerized by this woman. Convinced she could do him no harm, now that his intentions are pure. I think that you would die for me, destiny, and this time I know for sure. Although his deep-rooted fear of abandonment lingers. Don't break my heart. Don't let me die. And rightfully so. Abel's earlier suspicions have been confirmed. This woman was concealing something critical. I heard you Deceiving two individuals, she just gave Abel a very good reason to end their relationship. Even after his most sincere attempt at love yet, the weekend is still left alone again. He asks this woman for some sort of compromise, noting that he sees a bit of her nefarious ways in himself. Cause you were just like me before. But she's gone, leaving Abel feeling frozen and holding on to his cold heart. I'll always be less than zero. On Dawn FM, the weekend enters a purgatory state, a meditative environment in the form of a fictional radio program. While there, he unpacks previous regrets and the mistreatment of past partners. He faces down his deep-seated emotional trauma brought on by the absence of a father figure, and he even gives true love a chance only to be double-crossed and have it stripped away from him. The perpetual cycle of love and loss continues, but he's been reborn, moving towards the light and healing from the scars of his past, searching for an emotional connection, but being fully aware of the pain that often comes along with it. So where does the weekend end up? Heaven or hell? It's still uncertain, but it's dawned on Abel 
that if he wants to find true love, he has to first find it within himself. Or in other words, you gotta be heaven to see heaven. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and hit that bell so you're notified of when the next episode goes live. Follow us at More Middle 8 and support us on Patreon to get your name in the credits. If you want to hear me chat with some amazing artists, check out the Playmate podcast. It's all in the box below. My creative friends and I have teamed up to build our own streaming platform where we don't have to worry about copyright claims or how much music we use in our videos. It's called Nebula and it features a ton of exclusive content and originals from some of your favorite creators, like Adam Neely, Lessons from the Screenplay, Tom Scott, and a bunch of others. Nebula allows me and other creators to continue doing what we love to do, create without limitations. There, our content is ad-free and pushes some boundaries since we don't have to worry about YouTube's restrictions or the algorithm. And we've partnered with CuriosityStream to keep making it happen. If you're looking for some of the best documentaries on the internet, you'll find them on CuriosityStream. You've got Shut Up and Play the Hits that documents LCD Sound System's Madison Square Garden performance. Nick Offerman from Parks and Rec even has a series about the history of our homes. And of course, there's stuff like David Attenborough's Light on Earth that's just fascinating eye candy. So here's the deal. When you sign up for CuriosityStream with the link below, you'll also get Nebula for free. You get CuriosityStream, you also get Nebula. So head over to curiositystream.com forward slash middle eight and treat yourself to a pair of new streaming platforms for less than 15 bucks a year. It really helps support this channel and educational content in general. But tell me, what did you think of the weekend's Don FM? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for me. Again, thanks for watching and keep listening. To the weekend.